So when we are working in the support project, sometimes a uh, client says that uh, person number is already generated. We would like to go for update that. Due to some reason, they wanted to go for update the person number. So when we go to navigator, uh, my client group, so let's say, uh, let's go for hire a new employee now. We'll work on that instead of working with the existing uh, employee. Let's go for hire new employee. I'm going to hire an employee. This is in 1999. I'm, I'm going ahead with the US one legal entity here. So let's take the employee name here. So I'm going to take the employee name here. we can see that person number is uh, automatically generated the person number setup where do we set this option manage enterprise hcm information it's a standard question in the interviews they will be asking us what is person number is person number is mandatory when we are working in hcm yes mandatory at what level person number will be generated at enterprise level maybe your client can have multiple legal entities means multiple companies but still the numbers person number will be unique and it will be generated at enterprise level okay it means top level it will be generated so now we are going ahead with this here Go for submit. Let's go for search employee here, person management. I can see that here. Where is this employee name? Paul John. Yes. Ninety-nine employers joined, and we can find the person number here itself. Seven thousand zero double eight is the person number, and we get assignment number here. E stands for employee. 
and we'll find two more uh, characters like in case if you are going ahead with the uh, contract employee contingent worker c and then if it is non worker we'll find n okay we'll find n if if we have the three tier employment model this is work relationship and this is assignment we will find one more tab employment terms if we have three tier employment model configuration okay that's fine right now this is our uh, person number we wanted to go for update generally if we want to update the employee information we can do it from here personal and employment here person details employment details seniority dates and director report is information we can also have the terminations user account area of responsibility and other information but when it comes for uh, here person personal information the moment when we click on this go to personal information tab here here we can find employee personal details here but i don't find person number in case if i want to go for update uh, i don't find the person details here i'm not able to get that details here the remaining information is available for update but i could not find this but client wants to update this number person number okay so in that scenario what we have to do is for time being we have to change for time being we have to change this from manage enterprise HCM information task. I'm going to say that person number generation method. There will be a three methods. Upon final save, automatic. Upon prior to submission, upon final save, another one is a manual. So now we are going to set that it's manually we wanted to go for update and click review button and then go for submit now we submitted uh, the set up successfully let me go back to again our person management here person number seven zero double eight right click search button Let's go to employee details here. Click task list here. Let's go for this person information. The moment when we go to this tab, personal information, see, I can find this field, person number. Person number field is available now for edit. Earlier it was not there because the method was automatic. The method was automatic. Now we will go ahead with this edit. I'm going to set up this number. Double to one. Okay. Press OK. Let's go for save this record. And click submit button. So we need to change the method to the manual option and then it will allow us to make the changes here. So now we can search with this number, whatever we have updated, see John Paul. Now we can see the person number is this. This is how we can change person number. Sometimes in the entries they'll be asking, like, can we change the person number in HCM? Yes, we can change, but we have to follow this method. We have to follow this method. Okay, so now if I go for any new employee, because we said that uh, it's uh, manual, right? That's the reason it will allow 
us to enter the person number and in fact it is mandate in fact it is mandatory but i could not find anywhere worker number worker type is employee there will be a three types employee contingent worker and non worker okay so here i could see person number only field but i don't find worker number worker number is basically configured at uh, legal employer level the moment when we are going to configure the legal employer there we will go for enable the worker number whether you want worker number is optional basically a uh, person number is generated at enterprise level worker number generated at uh, legal entity level for example so let's say your organization is having uh, and this options are then just one minute So at enterprise level, person number will be generated. If the organization, if your client is having multiple legal employers, like there are three companies. So for this employee, they wanted to have separate numbering and this employee separate number, this employee separate number will go for worker number enable. So where do we enable that worker number also? You can do it at two levels, both enterprise uh, HCM level as well as at legal employer level also. Let me show you first at enterprise level. Go to enterprise HCM task. Now this is our person number generation method, initial person number person creation duplicate check person name language which language you are going to enter the person means employee details employee name details so that's the global language will be specifying duplicate check means uh, when we are hiring if we enter the same information then system should identify this as a duplicate employee so what are the fields the system should consider for a duplicate check so that system will verify those uh, fields over here. So that, okay. So then here is a worker number generation method. Right now we mentioned that not used. That's the reason uh, it's not going to ask us. Like we wanted to allow the user to enter manually the worker number or automatic. Automatic uh, global sequence and automatic uh, legal employer sequence. So automatic means system should generate the numbers automatically, right? So that time database sequence should be used. So some companies, what they do is if they have multiple companies, let's say we have uh, Tata Motors as well as the Tata. We have Tata Motors, Tata Finance. So Tata Motors, they are hiring employees, workers, first employee. Just one minute. First employee one, second employee two. Then if you hire employee here, if it is global sequence, already two is done. Then three, then it is uh, four. Again, if you hire employee here, five, like that. It means there is no question of duplicate worker numbers here. There is no possibility for this. If client says that I don't want to use the global uh, sequence numbering for this, we wanted to have separate for this legal employer separate uh, sequence for this legal employer separate sequence we will be using this options here it's one of the important question also what is the difference between global sequence number and legal employer so global sequence number if it is enabled if we have multiple legal employers the worker number generation will be allocated for the employees for both if it is individual i don't want to combine that we wanted to go ahead with individual then we will go with this uh, options
Okay, now I'm going to say that it's manual. We can configure at legal entity level also. Let me submit this. When we go for the task, legal entity HCM information. The moment when we choose legal entity, the tab is enabled legal employer. Initially, we'll enter legal employer details, then position synchronization information. In legal employer details, we'll find worker number. Worker number generation, automatic generation using global sequence. But I don't want automatic. I wanted to set manual method here. So we can choose this manual. Minimum retirement age, maximum retirement days, minimum maximum age of minor and employment model can be selected at legal entity level. So if you set uh, different values at enterprise level and legal employer level, the high priority is legal employer. Always the lowest one will be the high priority. So that will be the high priority. So if the client is looking for at legal employer level, then different options, then we will use it at legal employer level. If we don't mention any value at legal employer level, then system will consider at enterprise information. Enterprise level value is going to be applied here. Now we'll see that. Let's go for a hire an employee and let's see how it will work. See, I don't find worker number field right now. Only person number is there because still you are not selected your legal employer. Based on the legal employer, then it will ask you. So earlier it was uh, not displayed because worker number at what level? Legal employer level. But worker number is optional, not mandatory. So which clients generally they prefer to go for worker number is when the organizations wanted to have the tracking at company level also for an employee, then they'll go ahead with this worker number. Otherwise, they'll go for person number. Person number is mandatory. Without person number, not possible. Worker number is optional. Worker number is optional. Okay. So that's about the person number and worker number. What are the different types of uh, methods we have for generating person number we have different, for generating worker number different we have. For person number, we have manual automatic prior to save upon submission. If it is worker number not used, manual automatic with global sequence, automatic with legal employer sequence. We'll do it at legal entity level as well as enterprise level. 